Hello everybody, my name is Hunter, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We got three more cups coming up. Um, last episode we did... Hold on, let me get to them. We did the Bell Cup, and then we did the Golden Dash Cup, aka the Golden Mushroom Cup, and we did the Lucky Cat Cup. In this one, we have the Turnip Cup, Propeller Cup, and Rock Cup. Um, I see some possible 10 out of 10 courses coming up. Oops, I'm gonna do that. I see some possible 10 out of 10s. See some probably not so good ratings as well. But let's just get right into it. Alright, New York Minute from Mario Kart Tour is our first cup of the episode, and an interesting way to start. Um, if you watched the last episode, you know I don't like Tour Cups very much, and I'm assuming this one's going to follow the same ideas. I've raced on this cup before, but I definitely don't remember it. Because these cups are kind of forgettable. No offense, but you just don't fit into the main Mario Kart games as much as they do in the tour games. They're fine for the tour games because I'm not expecting a full fledged Mario Kart game when I'm playing tour. What is going on back there? Hello? Oh, great. It's not over. Excuse me. Can you throw your red shell, please? Let's see. What is this? What's this way? Nothing. Just a waste of time. What's that way? And uh, I'm recording this right after the last episode. And. Uh, we we left off with uh, why can't I pick the name Ninja Hideaway, I believe is what it's called. And I'm already not feeling this because I hate that course. But this just makes it worse, honestly. Going from that to this is not comforting at all. Um, it's a New York course, 5 out of 10. I really don't care for it that much. whoop de doo Next course, please. This one is a classic. SNES Mario Kart Circuit. Blah, blah, blah. Mario Circuit 3. I can't talk. Um, this has been the game forever. I feel like the walls just keep getting bigger. I feel like they made the walls bigger on every track in this game. They're really trying to avoid super uh, ultra shortcuts, whatever they call That turn is tough. That's gonna be a, a doozy in, two, in 200cc. Uh, the classic little shortcut there. I remember that from the first time I played this in like the DS version. I feel like this is in every Mario Kart game. Uh, it's a classic. The music is just un untouched basically. I guess it's just remastered. Okay. Um, get the coin off. I guess the strategy is to keep the coin just so you don't get another coin. Because you can't have two coins at once on that one. Um, I don't have much to say. Everybody knows this course if you played Mario Kart enough. So it's not, you know, there's not much to comment on it. It's a good recreation of an old classic. They did it a good way. I mean, it, 
They really haven't missed this move that much. Uh, other than that, that's it. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. It's good. Not great. Because, you know, it's been reused several times, but... I can't give it a low score, because it does nothing wrong. Next up, another classic, Calamari Desert from N64. N64 tracks are so classic, they're so... I don't know, they're so good. I'm getting good starts this book. And out of all of the desert ones, this one is the most unique, still, to this day. Still. You jerk. Got some work to do already. It seems like the DLC AI are even worse. Like, they're even more annoying than the regular tracks. I've never noticed the shape of Calamari Desert until now, for some reason. It's like... I don't know. I guess what's going on is... Oh, this one's different. Huh? So they did update this because you get to drive on the actual tracks, which is something I always wanted to do. And they never let me do it before. Well, technically, you were allowed to do it, but it wasn't meant to be done. Now, they force it to you, which is fine. But it's, it's a cool addition. And then you get off the tracks, and then back to racing. Protection for one hit. You throw more than one red shell at me. I'm gonna be very upset. Huh. Calamari Desert, awesome track. 9 out of 10. Best desert track of all time, still, to this day. And they honestly made it better. So, yeah, 9 out of 10. And last but not least, Waluigi Pinball. Uh, I shouldn't have to say anything. It's probably in the thumbnail. Honestly. It deserves it. And I'm so glad they brought it back. I believe it's been since the DS, well, until this DLC came out that Waluigi Pinball was in a game. And everyone was begging for Waluigi Pinball to come back in the Retro Course section. And they did it. It took them, what, almost 20 years? But they did it. And they did it perfect. They didn't touch much of anything. They made it more Mario Kart 8 friendly. Other than that, they did it right. This is such a classic track. The music goes absolutely ridiculous. Has no right being this good. The pinball itself, like. You're racing in a pinball machine. Kinda. Doesn't really look quite like a pinball machine from here. But, yeah, you're racing inside of a pinball machine. It's so good. If you couldn't tell, this one's getting a 10 out of 10. By far. One of the best tracks in this game. 
And this cup's been pretty good. Uh, minus the first track. This could have been a great cup. But not for the tour track. Blue shell here soon. That, I'm doing a dance with that pinball, huh? I had to break to avoid that thing. It was like perfectly timed. Uh, it was the same speed as me. And it came out at the same time as like, we crossed paths pretty much. Woo! And it came in hot. And we're coming around the last turn. Play ahead. We have protection this time. So. That's going to do it for this cup already. That was quick. Alright. That's definitely a 3 out of 3. Easy peasy. Turn up cup down. Unlock the new customization. Let's keep it rolling. And we unlocked a trike. Still waiting for the the pipe frame. We'll get it eventually. Uh, following the same pattern as the other ones, starting with a torque up, and I'm gonna say it now, not gonna get a good rating. than that on that turn. It's like I don't like the arrow pointing you in the right direction. It's not how it should be. Because it gets confusing. Um this one's in Sydney. So, there's that, I guess. Always wanted to go to Australia, but. Still doesn't make this course any better. Right. We're tearing it up, boys. I really don't have anything to say about this one. It's mid. 5 out of 10. I'm just gonna... Most of the tour cups, the tour courses aren't really gonna get a high score for me. And they're all kind of just mid. Alright, we're on the last lap. Let's get this done. Out of the way. And on to the interesting courses right there. Am I on there? Nope. that one. Um, yeah, 5 out of 10. I have nothing to say about the tour tracks, honestly. Alright, next up we have GBA Snowland. Another snow track. And I can't remember if this is the second or third one in the game that we've seen so far, but still probably not the best one ever for me. Honestly, wouldn't be the one that I would think of first, or at all. Just because I don't really think of the GBA tracks that much. 
This one is very icy, though. So, uh, when we hit 200, this is gonna be a, a pain in the ass. Uh, the whole road is icy. You can kinda hear it, by the way. The drifting makes, like, a sound. It's that icy, slick sound. Um, I don't, once again, I really don't have much to say about this one either. Uh, it's another snow course, which is alright. But, um, starting to see that, like, the DLC courses are top heavy. And I said this in the last one, but I'm going to say it again. They added too many cups. They could have just made all the DLC retro, and I would have been happy with it. Because I don't need new, new tracks. But they wanted to make a whole another round of new tracks. And that's why they made 12 new cups. And they added courses that don't need to be in this game. Can I stop getting pelted, please? No? Ah, <sighs> that was close. Uh, what did I, did I give this rating yet? I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. It's alright, I guess. Now this is what I'm talking about. Mushroom Gorge from the Wii. Everyone knows it. Many love it. And here comes the music. And this this music's classic. This gives me nostalgia. Just like Moo Moo Meadows, just like Coconut Mall. It gives me a lot of nostalgia. This is one of the first courses you race, I believe. I'm not positive about that, but I feel like they put Mushroom Gorge in the Mushroom Cup, which would be the first cup. Let's try and not get absolutely pelted by shells right now. On 200, that's gonna be a a breaking turn right there. Uh, hit once. That's great. I'm gonna go up this side. This was added. This blue mushroom was added in Mario Kart 7, I believe. And they brought it back. Maybe they didn't bring it back in Mario Kart 7, but I think they did. Um, and if they did, rightfully so. And the blue mushroom, obviously, it's a guide. It's a good touch. Please. Yeah, I didn't pull it out in time. We gotta go. Yeah. Serious right now? Please. Go! Ah. Mushroom Gorge, 8 out of 10. Uh, it's always been a great track. Uh, it's not good enough to give me a, get a 10, but... I'll give it an 8. And lastly, a new cup. A new. I keep saying cup. A new course. Sky High Sunday. Um, I don't expect this one to be very good. If it's anything like 
Ninja Hideaway, whatever it's called. That, that one that I hate. You know what I mean. Why is Link giving me the word? Sick of Link. Oh, yeah. Anyway, if this is anything like Ninja Hideaway, I'm not gonna like it. Because the DLC ones that they made. Not, not it. And this one's all zero grab. And it feels sliding. When you trick off stuff, it feels floaty. I don't like it. Like I said, I'm not gonna like this guy. And I don't really. I know on 200, this one's gonna be a, the bane of my existence as well. Okay. Oh my god, like... This drag's just dumb. This is unnecessary. I don't... We don't need this. It's just a... It's a silly theme. Like, you know, it's just not... It doesn't feel like it was made... With a lot of love. You know? And I'm gonna have to redo this. I just want to get through the video. Like, I just want to race without getting screwed. Well, I'll be back. Two thousand years later. Alright, we're back on the last lap. And, um... I think this time I have it. But... I don't know, anything happens. In this game. So. Looks like I'm good. And that should be the three star. The second time around went even better than the first, so... Yeah, let's see. Nice. And we got some customization, yada yada. And we should have one more cup this, this episode. Let's see what we got. Don't care. Alright, we're gonna do the rock cup. And that'll be it for this episode. And to start off the Rock Cup, we have another Tour Cup. I keep saying Tour Cup. Tour Course. London Loop. Base in London. And another Tour Cup means... Another tour course means, um, I'm not gonna like it. This one's already giving me decisions to make. Um, once again, the music does not give you a London vibe, at all, to be honest. Just kind of Mario Kart 
basic music, which is fine. It's nice music, but it doesn't really fit what I'm expecting. Oh, jeez. I didn't pay attention there. Um, I don't have much to say about this. As with the other tour courses, it's fine. I'll give this one five out of ten. Let's see how it switches it up on the last side. It's a blue shell. Wouldn't be a race. I think they hit with a blue shell. And a lightning. Throw a little roundabout in there. Let's not have any issues this cup. Next up we have Boo Lake from Game Boy Advance. And this one looks fun. I'm not sure if this one is um, one where you hit walls and they fall over or not, but I guess I'll find out. I should cut that corner. Oh my god. I can't tell where you're going. Mm -hmm. well, that's interesting, I guess. This music is really nice. I think they updated it to be more rocky, but it's a nice. Boo music. Spooky music. I really love how in this game. Really? For what? Why? Getting double red shell. Anyway, I really like how. I mean, I guess it's been for a while now, but in Mario Kart, depending on what kind of road you're driving on, it sounds different. Like this one sounds like a boardwalk. Are you kidding me? No way. I'm gonna lose. I still lost. I literally said, let's not have any issues, and then I get fucking blue shelled. Now I have to quit and start over again. Uh. Alright, we made it past whatever this track was. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Alright, next up we have Rock Rock Mountain. Uh, fitting that it's in the Rock Cup. I remember this when it came out on the 3DS. It's a good track. I feel like I get dicked over. This 
game seems to like screwing me over. It's like you get punished for racing good by getting bad items. And it's not like if I don't care if I get a banana every time. I'm happy with that. It's the fact that you're guaranteed a coin pretty much that pisses me off. Like coins should not exist as an item. Should not. Ever. In the history of ever. Watch this. I should know about that. It would be funny if it actually didn't work. That actually lets you fly over. It might let you fly over that entire thing. I'm not, I'm not sure. That's a big shortcut if it does. Here comes blue shell number one. Now watch. I'm gonna get a coin. Here. Wow. This is the longest I've gone without getting a coin. Are you kidding me? Okay. I guess I wasn't thinking I had a banana on my back. Can I drive, please? Yes. Here comes blue shell number two. And they're starting to catch up somehow. Because no one's hitting each other. And I'm gonna get hit while I'm in the fucking air. And I'm gonna get past. I don't like using bombs as protection. This is a short course. I'm just not noticing. Alright, is he enough? Please, no issues on the last one. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. This one was fine. Nothing spectacular. This is another classic from the Wii, Maple Tree Way. Um, Semi-updated. They only changed a little bit. Definitely one of my favorites. I remember when I found out about the shortcut on this one. Uh, when I was a kid, looking up shortcuts and stuff. Um, this turn right here has always been a doozy, and on 200 it's going to be tough when I get there. I'm glad they added this. For, I'm glad they kept it in the, in the track, because the half pipes and we were like, a major thing. I'm not very far ahead. So I'm kind of worried. where I'm going. And I have no protection. And knowing my luck, I will get a coin out of this. Holy. I have to go for one of these. Mushroom. Still don't have much of a lead. 
Gotta make this slap count. Hopefully I can end the video. And I keep getting freaking destroyed. So it's not looking great. Yay, coin. No way. This isn't real, right? Okay. <sighs> I've never been destroyed so much in a game for being good. Other than this game. This game literally comes after you if you're too good. It's a disgrace. Maple Tree Bay gets an 8. It's a good one. It's on the same level as Mushroom and Gorge for me. I have no doubt this is going to be a 3 star. New customization. Let's go check out what we got. Please. Come on, man. Just give me the pipe frame. Alright, so let's do a little recap. We did the Turnip Cup. Propeller Cup. Rock Cup. And next episode, we'll do three more. And it looks like we have two episodes left. For 150 CC. We have um, the Moon Cup. The Fruit Cup. And the Boomerang Cup. And then in the last episode, we'll do the last four cups. And that'll be an extra long one. And I'm excited about the, the last cup on this one. Um, anyways... That'll do it for this one. Even though I got destroyed on this episode, this is a fun, fun game for me. Um, I'm really enjoying recording these episodes. Uh, well, we're just getting into the thick of it, so plenty more to come. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below what you think of some of these tracks that I really hate. And subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.